Alrighty, what's up everybody? Peter Gilmore here for a late night video right here on the Peter Gilmore YouTube wrestling channel youtube.com slash Peter Gilmore Thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below Still creeping up on 200 subscribers Creeping up on 1500 uh, video views on this channel already in the span of a little over two months almost three months already So thank you all for watching my videos and uh, share them with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Daily Motion, everywhere else on the internet. And uh, continue to subscribe to this channel and all my other channels. All the links are down below. Friend me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. And once again, thank you for all your support. Alright, on this late Thursday night, it is time for your late, out of date NXT review. For February the 3rd, 2016, from Full Sail University in Orlando, Florida. And, uh, you know, Wednesday night's uh, NXT, it was a decent show. We, uh, we're going to find out who the number one contender is uh, between uh, Sami Zayn, Barry Corbin, and uh, Samoa Joe. We all remember last week ended in controversy. Samoa Joe and uh, Sami Zayn thought they won. You know, by uh, making Baron Corbin submit, and then William Regal said that he's going to look at the tape and then make a decision. So tonight we're going to get that decision, so we'll see what happens with that. But we begin the show off with our first match of the night. The Vaud Villains, Aiden English, and Simon Gotch taking on the Hype Brothers, Mojo Rowling, and whoa, 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 Zack Ryder. Blech. Uh, this match is okay, you know, Aiden English and Simon Gotch, you know kind of, you know, had to go back to the drawing board, and it kind of got on, like, uh, they have, like, a new aggressive side, which is pretty cool, and they really beat the living crap out of, out of the, the Hype Brothers, who come out with Pyro coming from the ceiling, ooh, exciting, ooh, they still suck, uh, anyway, uh, it begins with Aiden English getting the early advantage on Mojo Raleigh, and then, um, uh, there was a submission exchange between um, Raleigh uh, and uh, Aiden English. He takes him down to the mat. And then uh, Mojo t tags in Zack Ryder, who uh, ends up on the wrong side of a suplex by Aiden English. English tags in his partner, Simon Gotch. And uh, Gotch takes control over uh, Zack Ryder with a chin lock. And then uh, Ryder tries to fight his way up, but Aiden English tags himself in. And then Ryder hits an insecurity to Aiden English. He gets the hot tag to his partner, Mojo Rawley. And then Rawley comes in like he's just been to the club and he has to go pee or something. Uh, he takes out both Vaude villains. And then Zack Ryder gets the tag back in. And he promptly gets the rolling dervish for his troubles. And that's it. So the Vaude villains win. So they're gaining back some momentum. Hopefully getting back to the tag team title pitcher. Of course, they lost in the Dash and Dawson, so hopefully to get back into the tag team title picture. So we'll see what happens with them over the next couple of weeks. But match was eh, so I gave it two and a half out of five stars. All right, then we go backstage with uh, Tom Phillips and the lovely Queen of Staten Island. My name is Camilla. You know, and uh. Basically, she cuts a promo saying uh, she's going to prove that she's worthy by beating Emma tonight in her match. And next week, she's going to be the next NXT Women's Champion. As uh, next week, we're going to see her and uh, Bayley for the NXT Women's Championship, which should be a decent match. Both are friends, you know, if you watched Breaking Ground last season. And, um, not that I watch it, but I'm just saying. Um, so... We'll see what happens between these two good friends, and they're gonna throw their friendship out the window and probably beat the crap out of each other. But uh, let's we'll see what happens with that. So I gave that segment two out of five stars. All right, and then that quickly segues into our second match tonight: Carmella taking on Emma. Uh, standard women's match. Uh, they trade headlocks uh, to start, and then Emma slams Carmella down to the mat. She starts gloating and mocking Emma and Dana Brooks at ringside as well. Uh, just showing off. Uh, this allows Carmella to hit a drop kick right in the right in the mush. And uh, she goes off the ropes, but Emma boots her right in 
the face. That's not very nice. Uh, and then Carmella kicks out of Emma's quick pin attempt. And then uh, Emma takes control, standing on Carmella's beautiful blonde hair. And then pulls her up by her arms. Yee. And then the referee makes Emma break the hold. Of course. Uh, and then Emma tries to slam Carmella, but Carmella reverses it into a Lutez press. She starts uh, gaining some momentum. She goes for her finisher, which I have no idea what it is. Uh, but Emma puts on the brakes, whips Carmella into the corner. And then she tries for a butterfly suplex, but Carmella blocked it and then uh, reverses into a 1932 backslide. And she gets the pin. Who knew a backslide can get a pin? Not the first time we ever seen a backslide get the win for somebody. But uh, Carmella picks up the win and uh, she builds momentum going into her NXT women's title match against her friend Bailey. So we'll see if she can uh, beat Bailey and win the NXT women's title for the very first time. But we'll see what happens with that. So I gave the match its standard women's 2 out of 5 stars. Alright, then we go backstage where we see Sami Zayn. And he says he should have been declared the winner in the number one contenders match last week. Well, he has a point because he did make Baron Corman tap, and so did Samoa Joe. And then, uh, when Samoa Joe is asked for a comment, he almost attacks the interviewer. <laughs> Wouldn't want to have that job. And then Joe is in no mood for questions. He just wants to become the champ, the uh, number one contender, so he can beat the crap out of Finn Balor. That's what it is. So we get that three out of five stars. All right, then we go to match number three. My name is Enzo Amore, and I am a certified G and a bona fide stud, and you can't teach that. And this right here, this is Big Cass. He's seven foot tall with a three inch cock. No, I'm just joking around. <laughs> but Enzo and Big Cass, Colin Cassidy, taking on some local jabronis. You know what, what happens here. The local jabronis get the crap beat out of them. And a uh, typical squash match for Enzo and Big Cass. Uh, they get the win after hitting the uh, Air Enzo off the top rope. That was it. You know, they cut a promo, you know, early on just talking about the jobbers and then, you know, saying they're going to be Dash and Dawson, blah, 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 blah. We have heard this so many times. Uh, so I gave the match 2.25 out of 5 stars. It is what it is. So uh, Enzo and Big Cass looking to still. Stay relevant and in the uh, tag team title picture, but we'll see what happens with that. All right, after that, we go to backstage with uh, Uha uh -huh! Nation, I mean, Apollo Crews. Uh, talk about a few months ago, he had his shot at NXT title, and I was at a takeover, and he lost, which sucked. Uh, he says he didn't come out on top that night, but tonight he's going to prove that he deserves another shot at the belt. And the main event in a non-title affair between him and Finn Balor. So, we'll see what happens with that. So, I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. Alright, then we go to William Regal's office. And, uh, he announced that he has decided that there will be a rematch. Um, and I thought it was going to be a rematch of the six man, uh, the uh, three-way dance. But, before he could finish his thoughts, Baron Corbin comes in unannounced. And he's pissed off. And Corbin says, whatever happens, there, there better be a rematch between all three of them. But Rigo says, well, one thing's for sure, you tapped out, so you're eliminated. And then Coleman's like, is this a joke? You know, this is a joke, and he just leaves like a little spoiled brat. And then Rigo tells us the only fair way to determine who is the number one contender is to have Samoa Joe take on Sami Zayn one-on-one. -on -one. So I believe we'll get that uh, next week or in two weeks, so in a couple weeks... We'll see who is the new number one contender to Finn Balor's title going into NXT TakeOver Dallas. So, we shall see what happens. So, I gave that 3 out of 5 stars. Alright, then we get to our fourth match, I believe, on the card. Asuka taking on Santana Garrett. I really liked this match. You know, Santana Garrett, former champion in Shimmer and Shine and many other promotions as well. Uh, probably one of the hottest women... And, well, yeah, hottest women on the indie circuit next to Candice LeRae, who the WWE should really give a call to, and other women, you know, but I'm just saying, and, uh, you know, going against Asuka, Kana, who's been a, who is a god in Japan, Santana Gare has also fought in Japan, uh, along with Alpha Female, they really should call up, I have to agree with my, my good friend Bill Schuyler on that, uh, this match was pretty fun. And I really hope Santana Garrett 
gets an NXT contract because, you know, all these women are going to be going up to the main roster soon, like Bailey, like Carmella, maybe Asuka as well. They're going to need some of the women that are not really doing anything, like Summer Rae, like Natalia, like, you know, Rose is on paternity leave because she has the baby and everything. Um, all these women that suck right now, like uh, like Cameron and, you know, they got Mandy and Eva Marie. You know, they're going to need some talent, you know, to offset, you know, the women that are going up there. So, I would I would love to see Santana Garrett in NXT. Because I think she could put on good matches with the likes of Man, uh, Amanda, Liv Morgan. Uh, maybe Deanna Perrazzo could be in there. You know. You know, they can bring up Candice LeRae maybe and sign her. Uh, you know. Maybe get Taylor Hendricks. I doubt it, but... <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, uh, we'll see what happens with um, all that, but... Anyway, getting back to the match. The match was pretty good. Uh, uh, Santana Garrett gets right in Asuka's face. And then she elbows Asuka in the face over and over and over and over and over again. And Asuka's like, <laughs> stupid, I'm at again, you pull. Ha! And then Garrett hits the ropes, but as soon as she turns around, Asuka hits the sexy hip attack. Uh, then she misses a head kick, and Garrett rolls her up for a two. And then Garrett surprises Asuka with a side rushing leg sweep for another near fall. And then uh, Santana Garrett hits the ropes and runs right into a flying cross arm breaker from Asuka. And uh, this led to Garrett's uh, untimely defeat. She rolls onto her stomach, but Asuka transitions that into the Asuka lock and Santana Garrett taps out. So it was a pretty fun match. I gave two and a half out of five stars. Asuka wins and uh, she continues her undefeated streak. Uh, I really want to see Asuka and Bailey go at it, which is probably going to happen at... Uh, and they see Dallas, and I think Oscar's gonna finally win the belt, and uh, probably continue her feud with Emma and Dana Brooke, or maybe go on to another feud uh, with somebody. I don't know who, but um, I think uh, by the time WrestleMania um, rolls around, Oscar's gonna become the new champion, ba and then Bailey and Carmella will probably be elevated to the main roster probably right after that, uh, leading into the summer. But we shall see what happens. So I gave, like I said, two and a half out of five stars. Oscar picks up the victory. And we move on. All right, then uh, we get we go that yeah, we go backstage where uh, Finn Balor uh, is conducting is uh, not conducting an interview. He's uh, being interviewed. Uh, and he says Apollo Crews will not have to wonder any longer uh, what would have happened when they first faced off. What happened tonight? So basically, Finn Balor is saying, "Well, I beat him before. I'm going to beat him again, and he won't get a title shot." Blah blah blah. So I get that three out of five stars. Then we get to the main event: Finn Balor taking on Apollo Cruz in a non-title affair. Pretty good match. Um, I think it was way better than their first one at uh, Takeover uh, for the NXT title. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, they spend a, f uh, a few minutes, you know, feeling each other out. Not like that, you fucking perverts. <laughs> Books you. Uh, sorry. Uh, but uh, Balor ends up with a side high lock, and then. Uh, Apollo Crews tries to get some separation by hitting the ropes, but uh, Balor holds on to the side high lock, you know, showing the veteran that he is. And then Apollo stands up and almost suplexes Balor, but uh, Balor rolls through, keeps the headlock um, on, and um, he successfully grounds Cruz to, the, to um, this point, so he's really working on a good strategy by grounding the bigger man. And uh, we go to break, we come back... <clears throat> Scar, excuse me, I uh, still got a cold, I'm really sick, so, doing it for you people. Uh, we come back from the break, and uh, Finn Balor rolls through a, uh, Apollo Crews' sunset flip attempt, he drop kicks him right in the face, and then uh, he immediately slaps on an arm bar, looking to uh, make the big man submit, but uh, he seems to be targeting Crews' head and shoulder, head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, oh, sorry, um, and uh, and then he hit, and um, hits Ben uh, hits up uh, Apollocus in the head, and I thought it was over, but Apollocus is not gonna fall for that. And then uh, Apollo comes back. He surprises Finn Balor with a clothesline out of the corner, and uh, Apollo starts building some momentum. Um, um, as it, as uh, he goes, Finn Balor goes to the outside. Cruz 
Hits a moonsault off the apron, but Balor moved out of the way, and he crashed and burned. And then uh, Finn Balor hits a, a dive over the top on the uh, Apollo Crews. And then Crews gets back in the ring, but uh, Finn Balor goes up top, hits the, du the diving double foot stomp to the back of Crews' head. So, almost like the coup de grace to the back of the head. And then uh, Crews somehow got out of it. Uh, and then uh, Finn Balor charged Crews, but runs right into a Samoan drop. And then, once again, Apollo Crews, you know, tries to build momentum. He misses the high insecurity kick, and then Balor hits the sling blade clothesline. Uh, and, then we, and then when Finn Balor tried for a move, he eats a big boot by Crews. Crews guru press slams Balor, and then he hits the standing moonsault, uh, one of his finishers. Um, but then only gets a long two and a half count. So, really, the intensity picked up near the end of the match. And then Crews tries for the tossing powerbomb of Doom, but Balor flips out of it. He hits the sling blade again on uh, Apollo Crews. He follows it up by the, with the bullet drop kick in the corner. The uh, you know the pushing drop kick I call it. I don't know what you can call it. Uh, and then uh, he goes up top, and then uh, he hits the coup de gras. Um, and um, I thought that he was gonna go for the pin, but Crews was you know, like kind of like no selling it a little bit. And then Balor picked up uh, Apollo Crews and just. Kills him with Bloody Sunday, and that's it. So Finn Balor wins, and um, he awaits the uh, winner of Samoa Joe and Sami Zayn coming up um, in a couple weeks. So we shall see what happens with that. Um, afterwards, Balor and Cruz have a code of honor. They shake hands, mutual respect for each other, I guess. So wasn't a bad match. I gave it three point two five out of five stars. But you know, I think Apollo Cruz, you know, he's still learning. Um, you know, I think with a better push and some mic skills, maybe a little, you know, working out too. I know, I hate to say it, Uha, I'm sorry. But, uh, I think he could be a major player in NXT, uh, in the next coming months and maybe another year he'll be there. And then, you know, hopefully he does go to the main roster. I think he can be WWE champion, you know, with training and, you know, the right push and some better mic skills, you know. He could be WWE champion uh, someday, but I really see him as maybe an IC or US champion. But we shall see what happens in the next few months to years. We don't know. But it's a work in progress with Mr. Apollo Crews, otherwise known as Uha Nation. So basically, that's it. So that's how uh, NXT ends with Finn Balor, uh, you know, and uh, Apollo Crews shaking hands. And. Uh, Finn Balor with his NXT title uh, held high, blah, blah, blah. So, pretty solid night of action. I gave it a solid 7 out of 10 stars. Let me know what you thought of NXT TakeOver tonight in a comment or not not tonight, um, on Wednesday night in a comment or a video reply down below if you wish. And if any questions regarding NXT, WWE, a main roster, uh, TNA, New Japan, Ring of Honor, CCW, Fighting Spirit Wrestling, Fiberra Wrestling, any of the indies or any questions about wrestling at all that you may have, put a few questions down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. I'm starting to get a few questions in from a uh, couple, of, couple of people, so hopefully by the end of this weekend I'll be doing a Q&A or maybe early next week before I go to Atlantic City, or maybe I'll do the Q&A from Atlantic City, you never know. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. Alright, so that is a uh, pretty quick uh, NXT review, so uh, continue to hit that subscribe button down below, and uh, I will be doing my Ring of Honor review tomorrow, um, so a little bit late, I know, I apologize for not doing a Ring of Honor review last week, uh, I, I just uh, didn't couldn't do it, and um, I had problems with my, uh, my computer, and um, the stream st started to screw up on me, and I was like, it was getting later and later. I was like, ah, I'm not going to just, you know, I'll just do it next week. But I did see the show. It was a pretty good show as we roll into the 14th anniversary show, um, you know, coming up at the end of this month, February 26th, which is the same day as FSW. So I'll be missing the Ring of Honor pay-per-view, but I'm going to watch it the next night. So as long as it's up on watchwrestling.ch. But uh, we shall see what happens. So all... All in all, once again, uh, 7 out of 10 stars for NXT. We move on. We'll see what happens next week. Uh, with Bailey and Emma for the NXT Women's title. Should be a decent match. 
Uh, and then we'll find out uh, the week after that who is the number one contender to uh, Finn Balor's NXT title and uh, between Samoa Joe and Sami Zayn. But we shall see what happens with that. Alright, so that is it for my video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Leave a comment and uh, your questions down below. As I said, hit the subscribe button down below. Hopefully we'll get to 200 subscribers by the end of this month. Um, and maybe maybe by the end of this month we'll hit 1,500. Maybe 2,000 video views. But we shall see what happens with that. Uh, I got another video coming up in about a little bit. Uh, talking about um, the untimely passing of Axel Rotten. Um, we talked about that. I got another. I got um, another uh, death in the, death in on uh, the music world of uh, Maurice Wright of uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. So that'll be on my Metal Guy channel. So after this video, go to my Metal Guy channel and check out that video. Give it a like. Give it a thumbs up, and share the video all over the internet. So so uh, check out that video after this video, and um, you know, like, share, comment, do whatever the fuck you want. I really don't care. And, uh, that's pretty much it. So, thank you all for watching this video on this late night. Go to sleep. Have a great weekend, everybody. The first weekend of February already. Uh, getting some snow overnight tonight. This thing about an inch to three inches maybe at most, but it'll probably be gone by the weekend. And then we're getting another storm on uh, Monday and Tuesday. Oh, boy. Winter does not want to end. And we only got another month and change of this crap. But just think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Spring is almost upon us, and so is baseball. So, uh, yeah, pitchers and catchers are about uh, about another week or so away, not maybe two weeks at most away. And then uh, preseason starts, I think, on the 29th or the first. So, preseason baseball is coming up in a month. Ooh, I can't wait. We don't, don't care about preseason. I'm worried about the the the, the Mets season starting on April third, the same fucking night as WrestleMania. So I'm gonna have to DVR the uh, the Met game on ESPN and uh, watch WrestleMania on the stream. But uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, because I don't. You know, su it sucks now. That I ha I don't have um, optimal, and I can't watch the games on SMY. So I'll have to watch it on. Um, online somehow or listen to it on uh you know WR radio 780 710 whatever the fuck number it is I have to listen to it on on um the radio so I can't get to see uh Gary Cohen Von Darling and the ever opinionated Keith Hernandez you know on SNY because I don't get it on dish which sucks I mean come on so it is what it is you know Price to pay, you know, when you go from a $200 cable bill down to a $70 cable bill, which soon to be gonna be turning into probably $100 by <laughs> by the summer. But we'll see what happens with that. And I got a two-year deal with Dish, so you know, I got free HBO this month, and then it goes away after this month. But I'm gonna keep HBO until uh, Game of Thrones ends, and then I'm gonna get rid of it. And then when Game of Thrones comes back again next year, or whenever it comes back again, I'll re-add it so so I saved a little bit of money which is which is good because cable and dish a lot of money but it is what it is all right enough chitter chatter um I'm gonna head out now so go to bed everybody and uh leave me your comments and your questions down below and that's all I gotta say about that so Peter Gilmore signing off peace out rock on check out my metal god video coming up after this and uh that's it have a great Rest of your weekend. Bye-bye. Peace.